Good morning, guys. Good morning. Mama, Ma Lady Where was mama? begging for you. Lady was begging for me? Yeah. Aw. Good morning. Good morning. Miss B, she already was working the machine right over here, and she's got waffles, and she's got coffee, and she's got all this fruit put together. So I'm gonna have it get in my belly, and I'm gonna finish waking up. I'll check back in with you guys a little bit. We got a busy day today. It's gonna be a good one. Hey, hey everybody. So, we are here in California. We're gonna go get the alignment done on the truck. We've already got the tires on there. I'm also gonna get four new tires for this van. So, we're gonna be able to get alignment done on this van and that will be done. I've gotta do that before I sell it anyway. I'm gonna be following Michael. He's in the truck, I'm in my van. We're gonna go have some fun and get this done. That's the truck right there. It looks good driving. All right, so we just got done eating out in and out, and it was delicious. So oh yeah, took a little walk waiting uh, for the vehicles, the tires, and the alignment to get done on the dually and the van. Yep. So we still got some time to yeah. sit and wait. We're enjoying <laughs> the sun right now. It went, it went away, and it was freaking cold. Huh? <laughs> it was, man. I was like. Dang, I wasn't expecting it to be this chilly. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. What in the world? <laughs> oh my god. It's like it's like a mini Colorado. <laughs> oh my god. All right, so we're over here at Tire Wheel World. We got the alignment done, we're picking up the truck, and then we gotta go and pick up the van because we dropped that off for some new tires and also an alignment, yeah. but not at the pretty, shop. Pretty fast too, it was only like maybe an hour right here. Yeah. Uh, with no appointment, so. That was pretty quick, that was pretty awesome. So if you're in the Salinas area, you need some alignment, tires, wheels, anything like that, check these guys out, they're really awesome. Uh, all right, so we got the van all squared away. We got new shoes on the on her, and uh, we've got the alignment done. Truck's got new shoes on it as well, and alignment done. So we are uh, sitting really nice in the vehicle stance right now. I've got insurance on that truck already. Now I've got to get a moving permit and try to figure out how that's all going to work out because we're in California, and I don't know if I've got to do that here in California first. I've been trying to get it online in Arizona, which everything's do being done online nowadays, so I should be able to, per se, but uh, I'm not 100% positive. I've got people jumping out in front of me in the land of California. People are driving a little uh, funky and crazy. <laughs> oh, this van drives a lot nicer with alignment. I can feel it, 100%. It's nice, I like it. So the boys just got back from taking the cars to get all the tires and the alignments and stuff figured out. And uh, now we're hanging out over here at my cousin's house. And I realized that I hadn't actually properly introduced you to my family. So, this is my cousin. How's it going everyone? My name's Mike, welcome to my home. Uh, we got the kids playing in the background. <laughs> This is my daughter, Peyton. She is the middle child. This is Jeremy. Say hi, say hi everyone. Hi. Hi. Haley, she's my oldest, turned 13. So everybody out there knows what I'm doing with. Uh, <laughs> and this is our backyard. You know? We've been, you know, uh, sheltered in place, you know, so I've been trying to make it a little bit more kid friendly back here. 
It's a perfect place for the kids to hang out. The cousins are having a really great time. They've just been kind of doing this the entire time that we've been over here, so it's been a lot of fun. They're making their memories, having a good time. <laughs> and this is the monster. This guy. That's Jeremy. He's the one that keeps me going. <laughs> huh, bud? <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. It rained here last night. Melanie and them, you know, it's all dry when they're at, but uh, you guys said you, you brought the weather. They yes. brought the wind, and they brought the rain, apparently, yep. too. Guys. Rain and wind. Yeah, huh? It's crazy, because where we're at, it's always dry as bones, super hot, and then we come over here to California, and we're in our jackets and everything. I think I'm going to get the big girls to help me cook dinner. Yeah, the big girls are, we're going to hang out, so... I'm gonna let the kids play. We will check back in with you in just a minute. It's just a little bit of dust, but look at it's okay. Look at the difference by just cleaning it. I cleaned everything else except for the underneath the hood. But you're Gary being a loves, dude. You're like, I don't want to show it until it's <laughs> clean. Yeah. And Gary, he's all you know. He's all proud of this thing because it's got the big 454 Vortec motor. Hell yeah. He's he said he's uh, wanted one of these since he was little. Yep. So for him to be able to to get it and you guys be able to use it for your family on your trip is just awesome. Hell yeah. And I and like I said, my dad would be so happy. He, he'd probably be so sad that it's just sitting here, you know, like collecting dust and everything. And because you know how my dad was, he was a cruiser. I think he, Mike's gonna be very proud that it's gonna be the vehicle that gets us out to the 40. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yep. we'll be out there living in the trailer and building a house. I think that's your dad's, exactly that's like, he he, it's exactly how he, he was. He lived out there in the trailer yep. um, on two acres for <laughs> 27 years or something. Or Long more? time. Yeah. Damn. We loved it out there. Being he out did. there and just go ride dirt bikes in the, the field. And I think it would make him really proud and like happy, you know, that yeah. he has a part in it. Yep. And I mean, that's how you keep uh, non-famous people alive. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like how we were talking the other night. Yep. That's we how you keep, keep them around. Members. You keep their memory and like you yeah. keep you, the stories, right? The stories that you tell about them. I want to get... Um... Oh, here he is. Here's the hyena. I had to get <laughs> Lucy. Lucy jumped the fence. What's up, Ed? <laughs> well, jeez, man. I'm talking about serious things. She's, she's clowning around, man. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. God, man. Uh, I knew it wouldn't be long. All right. Well, I want to go get a little vial. And I want to get some of Mike's ashes, and I want to put it up in that river mirror. And oh, that'd be awesome! In, in the truck, no matter what, 100. <laughs> percent that'd, that'd be awesome, Honestly, dude. Honestly, man, I would love to do that. And we have some ash too. That'd that. be awesome, and he'd be cruising around, traveling. I know. And getting to he stay on the 40, it. man. I know. Well, I know. I'll be sad when it goes, but you know what I? You know what I mean? It's like I said. It's it's helping it it's uh getting you guys back there's so much room and it just sits here yeah. it this thing needs to be cruising mm -hmm. it needs to be on the open road moving and yeah. going <laughs> you know it sounds stupid but my dad would be all pissed off if i just let it sit so yeah. 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 i want to see underneath this hood that ain't welded freaking Welded on there by the heat for <laughs> tech motor i mean you know for a 98 this thing it doesn't leak on the ground any oil. I mean, it has a little little valve cover leak here and there, but yeah, I mean, gonna... most of your older vehicles are gonna have that. No. Gary's sitting here Shoot just my... drooling. Heated or anything like that, or like dry rot. I mean, like I said, it's a '98 and it's clean. I mean, there's no no upholstery. No, it's damage. it is clean. No cracks on on the dash or on the steering wheel. It's got 146,000 miles. It's freaking nice. All power, everything. Power windows, power seats. I mean, this thing is... It's a beast. And roomy. So much room. 
Heck yeah. Uh, yeah, this one right here comes up. It's got a nice. This one goes up. Nice, nice room. I mean, I'm a, I'm a big guy. Yeah. I'm like six two. Let me put this. Two twenty five. And I, Lucy, when I sit up front, I can actually lean, I lean oh, back, Lucy. so that's why it's so far back. But I mean, even me, I got some room. Heck yeah. It's going to be so good for the kids. They're going to be able to kick their feet up. It's like a car. When I was inside it, it feels like the, a roominess of our car that we just did the cross-country road trip. <laughs> oh, right? Yeah, I mean, it's, like, it's just all open. It's, it's very nice. Like I said, I mean... I mean, we kept it, you know, we kept it up. We didn't really use this as a tough, like, work truck. Um, but the last people did, it was the pull horse trailers and stuff. Like, he got a good deal. And that was, uh, I pushed him, I was telling you. Yeah. I pushed him all the time because he would always do stuff for us, always buying us stuff as we were, you know, we we're adults already. And, and I told him, I said, you know, it's about time, man. It's about time you get something that you want. And he told me about this truck. And so I pushed him to get it, and he got it, and and he loved this thing. He, he passed away two years ago, left all this stuff to me, and honestly, like, my, my, my brother-in-law, you know, he wanted it, and uh, there was a little problem with that, And uh, but he wanted to lower it. You know, he wanted to lower it and then slam it, and I thought, uh, I don't know. It's more of a, like, a rancher, like my dad, you know, yeah. uh, kind of vehicle. And then Gary and you said that you guys wanted it. And I was like, well, perfect. You just get the fifth wheel. You know, this is all hooked up for fifth wheel. Um, tow package, everything. Spacious for the kids. And again, it's on the road instead of sitting here. Yeah. So, as and much as we will appreciate it, I appreciate it too. We're definitely going to appreciate it. And like I said, it just kind of, it goes full circle with like having Uncle Mike. Like it helped us all to get to. I know, right? Where. I know. He's, <laughs> you know, like I said, I mean. Say say what you want. I mean, he's had his problems like everybody in life, and he. But he's he always, always helped people. He, he always like. Yeah. Yeah. He always just gave stuff to people. I never, I don't have a single so. bad memory of your dad. I thank your dad. I don't have not one. I not know. one. He never yelled at me. He never. He was always just funny. He was always funny. Yeah. <laughs> he was funny. I know. He I was know. just funny, Uncle Mike. <laughs> man, he was funny. Oh man. I don't know if we could have gotten those two together because I mean I'm pretty funny, oh my gosh. but my dad and Gary, Gary oh man, would never, <laughs> they would have never stopped earplugs. laughing, man. <laughs> <laughs> they would have just been earplug night. He's got me doing a ha ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. poor Gary. No. I'm never gonna let it down, man. No. I'm never gonna let it down. You can't spell Gary without Ed. <laughs> <laughs> We need that on a t-shirt, stat! Oh, yes. <laughs>
do. Alright y'all, so we're just going to kick back and relax and hang out, we're having a good one, and um, we're going to get into some stuff tomorrow, maybe go see some more family members, maybe just relax, we'll have to see how play it out goes, but uh, we'll check back in with you in another vlog, probably tomorrow or so, and until then, we hope you guys have a good one. We'll see you in the next one. Bye you guys. Bye -bye.